so in this course you will learn how to perform QC by using ISDP software and you know that ISDP is very important in uh, Huawei projects and this project is related to the Huawei microwave transmission so starting from the step one which is very simple that you must select the EHS QC plan and proceed it with OK and after that the next step will start with checking the installation boxes related to the microwave you will check whether the equipment is dispatched for the exact site or not so uh, step 2 check the installation boxes properly and take pictures as a proof if the box is placed there you will check one by one from the checklist that equipment is fully dispatched to the site if there is any deficiency you will inform to your project coordinator immediately and the next one proceed it with ok or indoor installation site as we have the IDU uh, at site so first we will make the IDU label for the site and dispatch and patch it on the IDU and after that take the picture of IDU installed at site next one check the grounding cable whether the grounding is being attached with your IDU or if the grounding is not installed you may take the new grounding and install with it and then you will take picture as a proof so pictures will restore automatically in your software you don't need to save after finishing the QC you just submit the task next one is to take the picture of the mini rack check the power cable circuit breaker or a bus bar or rectifier status check the power cable plus and minus with correct circuit rating circuit breaker rating and with proper eye legs to avoid it from any damage and the next one is check the grounding cable with attachment of label on it as this picture show you the clearly that grounding is attached with the label and take the pictures and save it in your software the steps are very simple just open up the EHSQC plan and take the pictures accordingly fresh graduates will easily learn from this EHSQC software that's why I attach pictures on it the next one is to check the outdoor installation check the sporting rod and the uh, microwave dish plus ODU full uh, sporting rod must be installed with the microwave dish to avoid it from any disaster and check the labels on the power cable and ethernet cable which is being attached with the ODU and the next one check the labels on outdoor unit as you see that outdoor unit is clearly installed with brackets and with the sporting rod so the sporting rod angle must be at 90 degree so 180 degree or 270 degree is not acceptable in any case and this sporting rod must be attached with uh, the tower leg to avoid it from any strong uh, storms or wind and the next one is to check the outdoor installation of microwave take the whole picture of the tower to show the microwaves installation next one check the horizontal cable tray quality cable must be laid properly and attached with the C clumps take the picture of horizontal ladder completely
one is check the if connector waterproofing and if cable grounding and also check the labels on it labels must be installed correctly correctively so the last step is to clean up the site from inside or outside the shelter and throw the discarded material out from the site to make it clean and take the pictures and save it in your software later on log in the huawei rtn and check the configuration configuration must be check with proper link budget that configuration show you the near and far end with rxl level and it shows us that link is working properly after installation so huawei qc completed and course is very simple if you have any question you can ask me in comments and don't forget to share it with your friends thank you